Hi, I'm Kevin Klein, City Councilor for Charleswood Tuxedo Westwood. Today, we want to talk about an article that was in the June 3rd edition of the Winnipeg Free Press. Uh, the headline is talking about uh, red light uh, for photo radar um, and also uh, other expenses for the Winnipeg Police Service. Now, we normally won't talk about media articles. We decided to talk about this one because of some uh, inconsistencies that our finance chair, Scott Gillingham, uh, told the media and raised some questions. Here's the facts. Number one, the police service will be over budget by $5 million uh, for the overtime. Now that is a direct result of the mayor and his EPC plus two. That is not a result of poor management of the police service. That is not a result of uh, officers taking advantage of overtime. I'm going to say this again because I've said it so much before, and others are manipulating their words to mislead residents. The overtime portion is $1.5 million. The contribution to the pension is where we have the big problem. That's where we have to crack the nut. That, that's the issue. Why is it so much higher for the city and less for the police service? because the city arbitrarily took money out of their pension fund and used it and agreed to pay it back by paying higher dividends until that money was paid back. No one has shown us that the money's been paid back. So that's acting in bad faith. Problem number two is the city was fined $600,000 for that. That's not the fault of the police, that's the fault of the mayor and EPC plus two because they pushed this through, because they felt they knew. Did they research it? Did they get outside expert legal opinion? Or did they just listen to what they were told in those meetings? That's costing you $600,000, $600,000. The other item that's hitting us is of course the pandemic. Less people are on the roads, therefore less photo radar tickets and less red light camera tickets to the tune of about seven million plus dollars. Okay, so let's talk about that. I have said since be getting into office and even before uh, being honored to uh, be the elected representative for Charles with Tuxedo Westwood, you should not, could, you can't budget revenue to a police service because then all of a sudden it becomes a quota that everybody talks about or jokes about. Revenue should be uh, left outside of the policing business. That revenue can certainly be new revenue that's considered as general revenues. However, that money should be directed 100% to traffic calming initiatives, to better crosswalks, to much, uh, you know, flashing lights somewhere, to, uh, you know, calming measures on streets, maybe a, a jet out. That, that is where that money should go. It should not be put on the police service because now they got to come out and it's going to impact their budget. So right now we're at about 13.5, $14 million of an impact on the police service budget, neither of which has anything to do with them. But Councillor Gillingham said that uh, we are, uh, like other city departments, we are facing unforeseen financial pressures. If that's the case, show us. I've asked for proof, I've asked for documentation. I have not seen it. I will not see it. You and I both know that. And everyone says you should be nice about it. I, I'm done being nice about it. Where is your money? So what other departments are seeing financial pressure? What cuts have we done? What adjustments have we made? Councilor Gillingham is right. He said that uh, part of it is because of COVID, which is true, but he doesn't once address the fact that he voted to arbitrarily change the uh, pension for the police service. And now that's costing us millions. And they'll talk about, he and the mayor will talk about how great this four year budget is. Really? because now you're $25 million out because of the mistake you made by arbitrarily trying to change somebody's pension. Again, does it have to change? Yes. 
Um, it says, uh, it goes on to say that the city's pandemic financial plan notes that council expects to use part of its rainy day fund. So in other words, you're not going to do anything else except take money from the savings account that you're required to have by law to make your budget balance, which by the way, they do often, or they borrow money to balance their budget. So I don't want to hear, oh, I'd like to see other levels of government have to balance their budget like we do. Well, when you're borrowing money and taking it out of a savings account, that doesn't mean you're balancing the budget. That money's gonna have to be paid back. So that's our answer to COVID-19. He said, uh, he does note that each department is also expected to cut costs. Who? We laid off 700 positions, not jobs, positions. What was the FTE count on that? Oh, they, they won't tell me. Full-time equivalent? They won't tell me. One asked me what it was. Look, those jobs were mostly part-time jobs. Um, they were seasonal jobs. Well, they were all part-time jobs from what I understand, and they were seasonal. They're seasonal. So they hadn't been hired back yet. Maybe that's why we're going so slow to reopen the libraries. It's really easy to be able to say, oh, it's COVID. But maybe that's why. Because we, com we don't know how to manage your money. That's a simple case. You can't just make statements about everybody's hurting and everybody is going to be okay and we're going to take money from our stabilization fund. You're going to have to pay it back. Why don't you stop immediately buying brand new vehicles every couple of years? Maybe have a mileage count where you'll then change out the vehicle. If we stopped buying new vehicles this year, that's $15 million we would save. Yes, $15 million. Now that could go to help small businesses that are not open and you, we could have forgiven their pro uh, business taxes. At least that's something, but we never did that. I go on and I'm sorry, but I am at that point where I cannot and will not allow the manipulation of taxpayers. It's your money. You deserve to know the truth. The truth is we have know three things that are wrong with that budget, with that issue of the police budget. You shouldn't be putting the revenue on the police because they need that or they have to lay officers off. So where do you think their time would go? I'm not saying, I'm saying this as a counselor, just to be clear. Um, you made the mistake on their pension. You should have done it right. You should have done it differently. And three, if you're gonna make statements like every department's cutting, show me. I just wanna see the facts. Yes. Trust me, the fact that the police will be in such dire straits financially will be used against them, and I'm pretty sure the mayor and EPC will use it against me. Have a good day.